There are many Malaysians who use personal cars to get around. However, not all car owners are savvy when it comes to understanding how our cars work and what should be done to keep them working. Of course, this is nothing to be ashamed of, as maintaining a car by yourself is not always that simple. For owners of newer cars that are still under warranty, you can simply take your car to your manufacturer and they will do all the work for you. So this week, we spoke to our motoring writers at The Star on 10 things that all owners should pay attention to when it comes to their cars. A car needs to have adequately inflated tyres to make the most out of its mileage. When refilling tyres with air, be sure to set the air pump pressure according to the manufacturer's recommendations, located on a sticker on the driver's side door frame. A car's service manual usually provides information such as how often you need to change your engine oil and transmission fluid. In most cars, you can check the level of oil in your engine by checking the dipstick, which is usually yellow in colour. You can check the level of transmission fluid in your car using a different dipstick, which is red in colour. It is normally located towards the bottom of the engine compartment. A good indication of when transmission fluid needs to be changed is when it changes colour from red to a dirty brown. The spark plug is a tiny hidden component that is a very important part of the car's ignition. Whenever you have problems starting your car, it is sometimes the case that the spark plug has worn out over time and needs to be replaced. Nowadays, newer iridium spark plugs can last quite long and do not need to be replaced so often. Checking how much energy is left in a car battery involves the use of a device called a multimeter. Usually, we would take our cars to the mechanic to help them check, and as a rule of thumb, it is a good idea to do this once a year. It really isn't hard to tell when your brakes need maintenance. Some symptoms include squealing brakes, longer braking distances, or just the general feeling that your brakes are not performing as well as they used to. In such situations, it is best to just have your mechanic look at it. The air filter is responsible for efficient airflow and overall performance of your car. It is an inexpensive part that is fairly easy to replace. When you feel your car is not performing as well as it used to, it is possible that you have a dirty air filter that needs replacing. The radiator keeps the engine cool, and the coolant fluid that it uses can last a long time. However, it is possible to refill it with distilled water instead if coolant is not readily available when the engine overheats. Of course, knowing how to change a tyre in an emergency is really important. Firstly, pull over to the side of the road and set down your triangle warning sign. A very important tip to remember is that the jack must be positioned under the metal portion of the car frame. Once set in place, lift the car just high enough to take pressure off the tyre before removing the nuts. Be very careful as tyres can be pretty heavy. Be sure to take your punctured tyre to a mechanic to have it repaired at a later date. The most important thing is knowing who to call in case of emergencies. The AAM hotline is extremely useful, and so are patrol units for specific highways, ambulances in case of accidents, your car insurance company, as well as trusted friends and family members.